Imagine a network of objects bumping into each other and creating random sets of connections and somehow magically you find life emerging. I am Madan Babu and I work at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge. I'm interested in understanding life at the molecular level. If DNA is the blueprint of life, proteins are the molecules that execute life. And what we try to do in my group is to understand how proteins perform their function. The classical view has been that for a sequence of amino acid like a protein to achieve its function, it needs to adopt a defined shape. But our own research has been that we've been looking at sequences that don't adopt a defined shape, but they're still function. And that was an extremely important moment for me because it kind of like did not fit the paradigm and it provided us an opportunity to challenge this conventional wisdom and examine with an open mind to really decide whether these are non-functional or whether there's a whole new world of opportunity out there that we have completely missed. Our work on GPCRs and disordered proteins, we try to bring together structural data with genomic data and by bridging things together, we had the first view of how polymorphic, uh, how much variability one could find in the human population. If we get this right, we could potentially personalize medicine. For instance, some individuals may have a mutation that can make them predisposed to diabetes or obesity, and this can have implications about how we tune their diet and their lifestyle. And understanding this can also have impact on being able to prescribe medicines better. Our own work draws inspiration from the work of several outstanding scientists, including Veronica Van Hanningen. All sorts of biology can be understood better for the kind of approaches that Madan has introduced, of asking questions about the data and exploring function. And one of the things that I think is part of his absolute genius is being able to ask the right question. Every day I try to learn something new. It is my father and my wife who have been a big source of inspiration, particularly their optimism, work ethic, thirst for new knowledge and kindness. I feel really honored to be the Blavatnik Award Laureate for Life Sciences. It's really the recognition of our scientific contribution by peers that really inspires me now to address more difficult questions that can have a more direct impact on society. If you come to Madan's lab, you're going to succeed and you're going to learn a great deal about how to do science in the modern era.